So what I have done here uh, is, is I've compiled a few uh, footage from older videos that uh, uh, you may not have seen where I have little demos of the acrylic additive chipping method I like to use. And so this is just a sequence of those videos uh, re-edited and adjusted um, so you can see just in, in, um, in real time, most cases, just how I like to apply the acrylic for the chipping effects. Now, some of these are older, so I've adjusted how I do things slightly, but this is really how I like to do most things. So please enjoy uh, this a additive, additive acrylic chipping uh, demo. Here's some examples I've done of just the acrylic additive chipping. Uh, almost everything you see there was either, um, in certain cases I did use some of the lacquer base, but only in small amounts, like on the uh, the, the GM Sniper uh, 2, I used uh, the lacquer desaturated, but that was a little bit uh, tricky because you got to do it just in one go. And if you, you know, you can't really clean that up off the lacquer too much. So I still like trying to find a tone that's close to the, the, the color that I'm using in acrylic. So if I'm using a lacquer base, I'll try to find whatever that color is in acrylic and I'll desaturate that. It's not too hard, pretty easy to find. Uh, but these are all just examples of, of uh, different kits that I've used this method on because it's just the one I really enjoy doing. So there it is. So with the GM uh, Night Seeker, uh, this is one of the most recent ones. Uh, I just used the uh, Chipping Brown uh, for most of the greens, and uh, I just used the polished metal from MIG for the uh, the grays and any of the darker colors. Uh, this is really nice, just being able to use one color of brown. Uh, I could have done some desaturated uh, of the green, but I thought ah, it's already so desaturated anymore. Just be almost white. So I, I just like the little bit, little chips. Kept it very mild in this case. Uh, just showing the different levels you can get with uh, with rewiping and cleaning up with um, some of the acrylic thinners as you're going, and why it's why I really appreciate doing the acrylic on top of lacquer. Uh, it, it cleans off so nice. Uh, in a, it, it has a pretty big window of time where you can clean it off. Uh, and that's uh, another reason I like it.
So here, I didn't record too many videos of this, but this was the, uh, I don't know if anyone's really seen this. Uh, maybe I'll repost it again, but this would be the, uh, the Origins uh, gun cannon that I repainted uh, during the anniversary when I could uh, have the gun cannon, the gun tank, and the RX-78 kind of together from Origin. And that was right when they released the, uh, the RX-78 uh, was the last one that I built for that. So you'll see those three here uh, in sequence, uh, just using... For gun cannon, I used mostly just the polished metal and the reds. It just looks so nice to have just the red. Uh, I think in the future I'll, I'll do a little desaturating on reds, but I think for the most part I just enjoy having the polished metal look come right through the reds. And then, yeah.
So for the gun tank, uh, this was a, a little bit older, kind of, in, I did the gun tank first, then gun cannon, then the RX-78. But uh, with this one, uh, I had a lot of fun. Again, this is like the red from the gun cannon. I really enjoyed the uh, putting the polished metal alone onto the, the blues. It has just a nice effect. Uh, so that's what you're seeing here, is just almost real time, adding the uh, polished metal with a very, very fine brush.
And so that's pretty much it for the uh, from acrylic chipping demos on this one. Uh, you can see some more of my videos going a little more in depth into them. Uh, I re-uploaded them because after I had to fix some mistakes that I think were keeping them um, away, or I mean the, keeping them outside of the search fields. But well, time will tell. Uh, so if you like this video, please uh, take a look at the rest that I've got going on. Check out my Instagram. Uh, all the links you can be found in the in the description and on my uh, channel info. So thank you so much for watching, and uh, keep yeah keep going. <laughs>